Okay, wow, this has been a long time coming. Um, I mean, we had uh, a lot of crazy things happen this year, and uh, this is one of the most crazy things that uh, we've had to try to put together. So a lot of thanks to uh, the people that helped put this special event on for these seniors who have gone through more than they deserve to. So um, I want to thank everybody for coming out on this beautiful afternoon. Um, to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2020. Would everyone please rise and welcome this year's graduates. Please rise for our national anthem.
Okay, to start the program, we're going to have uh, two class officers uh, say a few words. Lauren Robleski, class president, and Maverick Cologne, uh, class secretary, going to say a few words, followed by our superintendent, Mr. Nielsen, followed by Leslie Jolman, one of our school board members. So, Lauren, would you come up to the stage, please? Hello everyone, my name is Lauren Robleski and I am senior class president. I would like to start off by thanking the staff and faculty who made today happen. In today's world, nothing can be certain and we appreciate the hard work and dedication you have shown to make this graduation possible. I would also like to thank all of the teachers. I know I speak for everyone when I say that there have been teachers that have positively impacted our lives and we will forever be grateful. I know all of us would have never thought this would have happened. I mean, are you kidding me? A pandemic, our senior year, is this a joke? Even though so much has been taken from us, the only way we can make up for it is to move forward with our lives. Don't believe that the world is ever going to take it easy on you because it won't. COVID-19 showed everyone that no one is safe, not even us. So move on, do something, be something, prove everyone wrong. We can be the class that looks at this tragedy as a wake up call to do better in life. It's time to go out and figure this thing out for ourselves. Congratulations, everyone, and good luck on this new chapter in life. Thank you for coming, everyone. Without all of you, none of us would be here today. I'd also like to give a special thanks to the senior parents for purchasing a new cardinal mascot. I'm supposed to point to it, but I don't see it, so. <laughs> Where? Oh, it's right over there on the home side. Definitely an improvement over the last Cardinal. Looks awesome. Thank you, senior parents. Maverick, would you approach the stage, please? Is that good? Uh, yep. All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Maverick Cologne, I'm class secretary. Or, yeah, secretary. Um, Anyways, it's crazy we're here already. Um, graduation, the high school went by so quick, but you know, they say time flies when you're having fun. So uh, just a few things I wanted to say real quick uh, to all my family and friends, my grandpa above, I did this for you, but I'm not stopping here. And uh, shout out to Brendan Nelson for not speaking. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so high school is a journey for sure. And it's crazy how much you learn about other people sitting in a building for 180 days a year together. It's been great growing friendships and learning not only the curriculum, but life lessons from my peers, coaches, teammates, and teachers that genuinely want to see us do good in life. I wouldn't have wanted to do it any other way. I genuinely hope the, be I genuinely hope the best for everyone who I shared this ride with, and I hope we all go on to survive 2020. Thank you, Maverick. Mr. Nielsen. Good afternoon. I'm Jim Nielsen. Very proud to be the superintendent here at Orchardview Schools and equally proud to welcome everyone to the 58th graduation ceremony at Orchardview High School. I want to take a moment to introduce a few people. First of all, to my left, Mr. Dan Bolheis. If you'd stand, Mr. Bolheis, and Mrs. Samantha Wilson. They are the high school principals here at Orchardview. And then also seated behind me, the Orchard View School Board, and I'd like to introduce each of them also. We have Tom Joppy. Tom, if you'd stand, please. Jackie Hallberg. Letitia Johnson, who could not be with us today. Janet Taylor. Angela Brown. Cynthia Bankhead. And Leslie Jolman. And I'd like to give all of them a round of applause, too, please. Our high school has outstanding leadership. Our district uh, has outstanding leadership seated behind me. And again, as uh, I think Maverick just said, uh, 
or Lauren, that none of this could happen without the people standing or seated behind me. I also want to take a second and have anybody that is associated with the staff at Orchard View to stand. I know we have a bunch of them over here. There may be a few of them in the stands, but would you just stand for a second, please? Students and parents, I'd like you to recognize the wonderful staff at Orchard View also for all they do for our students. Thank you. So students, I'm going to try to keep um, my words brief and, and family that's here. I know why you're here today. It's not to hear me speak. It's to see these wonderful students walk across the stage. But class of 2020, uh, it took a little while to get here today. Um, we're celebrating outside at the football field. I've never been a part of this before. Uh, typically, we're inside in the field house. Um, it's second week of May rather than the, or excuse me, the second week of August rather than the last week of May or first week of June. That seems a little different. And I think back to March 12th. March 12th is when we started hearing that schools would be possibly shutting down the following week. And all the conversations that took place over those next 24 or 48 hours before the decision was made to actually shut down schools. And I don't know how many of you didn't show up to school that first Monday and thought you would never come back to Orchard View High School. But I can tell you from my standpoint, I never thought that. I thought maybe we'd be out for a couple weeks. Uh, maybe we'd come back around spring break. And it just seemed like as time went by, more and more things were canceled. Uh, we were just setting up for the first robotics competition at Orchard View High School, probably the biggest event this high school hosts each year. And of course, spring ath or excuse me, winter athletics had just come to an end. Spring athletics was starting. We had a review show. We had band concerts. We had all types of things that many of you were going to be a part of that one by one were canceled throughout the course of the school year, including your graduation that was supposed to take place um, a month ago or so. So um, it's with a lot of uh, happiness and pride that we're here today. And I do want to make sure that everybody here, not just the students, but all the parents and family, realize that something like this doesn't take place without a lot of hard work from Mrs. Wilson and Mr. Bolheis. And of course, all of you that are here, honoring everything that we asked, the social distancing, the masks, and everything that had to be a part of this ceremony. So just take a second and let's just give a round of applause for everyone for everything they've done to make sure that we could be here today. And finally, as I, as I conclude my words, I want to um, mention to the parents, friends, and uh, loved ones of uh, the students here I want to thank you on behalf of Orchard View staff and, and faculty for letting us be a part of the lives of your children. Some of them have been here many years. Some of them have only been here a few years. They've all impacted us, and I hope to think that in some way we've all impacted them. So again, congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you for making today a great day to be a Cardinal. Mr. Jolman. I might need to put it up a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, got there. Well, welcome, dear class 2020 students, family, staff, and friends. I am so honored to be up here today re representing the Orchard View School Board. I am a resident of this community for almost 30 years. I have two kids that have been in Orchard View since day one, and I am also a proud parent of a 2020 graduate, Hayden Jolman. We realize that this situation it is not at all what you expected. We appreciate all your hard work, flexibility, and understanding over the past few months. You've handled this new situation with class and determination. In the midst of the global change, it is very important to pause as we acknowledge your resilience, intellect, and grit. You have met all the academic requirements of your program and were forced to immediately learn the larger lessons of nothing is promised and the uncertainty of tomorrow. Your adjustments and preparations for the future is going to require practical skills that exist beyond face-to-face -face and virtual classroom. So don't get ready, be ready, for the world has to offer you and adapt accordingly. We speak about success all the time, but remember class of 2020, failure is so important. 
Failure is important because it's the ability to resist failure or use failure that often leads to greater things. Without failure, we couldn't become the people that we become in the time. I cannot tell you how many times I have failed and how painful each and every single time it has been for me. Thomas Edison is famous for failing over 10,000 times to invent that light bulb, but he never gave up. Thomas Edison said to him, they weren't failures. They simply helped him find new ways to do things. You build on failure. You use it as a stepping stone. Close the door on the past. You don't try to forget the mistakes, but you don't dwell on it. You don't let it have all of your energy or any of your time or all of your space. In the end, you'll get there. As long as you believe in your heart and soul, you know deep down inside that it's okay to fail as many times as it takes to succeed. And in the end, success is definitely the best satisfaction. So continue to enhance and guard your mindset. Remain optimistic and ensure that your inner voice is an encouraging coach and not a negative critic that hinders your active progress towards your goals. Continue to feed your intellect and spirit with information that uplifts and nourishes your soul and growth. Be intentional with all your future choices and be aware of the potential results and consequences of each decision. You have proven your credible abilities over the course of your studies and we salute you. All of your studying, researching, reading, test taking, presenting, writing, and overall engagement has paid off. You are unstoppable and will continue to succeed. Life is a journey, not a destination, which requires continuous growth and elevation. We are proud of you and excited to share in this victorious moment. Remember as you move forward to accomplish what you've never had, you must do something that you've never done. So on the behalf of the Orchard View School Board, we congratulate you class of 2020. We are excited to witness how you shape and create a new reality for all. Oh, I'm exhausted. On a personal note, you know, crazy year. My daughter was supposed to get married in June. Our governor said uh, in, I think it was March 23, that uh, as of midnight tonight, the state is shutting down, so I got a call at work. My wife said she's getting married tonight. So I hurried home from work and uh, helped move her into uh, their apartment and uh, so they got married that night in her fiance's basement. Threw together, there were about 15, 16 of us there. So anyway, um, Friday uh, was the uh, wedding reception at my house. So it's been a busy weekend for me, you know, getting ready for the wedding reception and getting ready for graduation. But uh, things couldn't have turned out better both Friday night and today. I mean, looking out at you seniors and everybody that's here to celebrate this, uh, is just fantastic. So, um, seniors, the past 12 to 13 years of your life, you've been working toward the moment you were about to do. Walk across the stage, even though you've already got your diploma, you're going to get your diploma cover. But that's the deal, walking across the stage. I wouldn't want it any other way. I've heard a lot of schools have done it differently, but I think your families and you, this is what it's about, walking across the stage in front of them, because it's a long time coming. Congratulations on this momentous achievement. In keeping with the tradition here at Orchard View, I attest that these seniors have completed the requirements for graduation. Since we didn't have time to practice, uh, the way it's going to work is the first row is going to approach the stage. After about five or six, Mrs. Carey over here is going to go from row to row, and um, she's going to count them out. And when she raises her sign, they know what it looks like. All right. Then the next row rises and come. You grab your. Uh, diploma cover, you're going to get your uh, picture taken with me over here and then return to your seat uh, and then you get to toss your your caps if that's what you want to do to celebrate this. So with the first row please rise and approach the stage.
Maya Anderson. Alex Andrews. Dominic Bosky. Savannah Bazette. Alyssa Benson. Jalen Bentaski. Madison Bowen. Willow Brasspenning. Blaze Bridenstine. Alec Brown. Maverick Carlisle. Paige Cezak. Maverick Cologne. Skyler Cunningham. Cooper Dahl. Brendan Danachek. Kylie DeYoung. Alexandria Denovan. Michaela Dennert. Alexandra Dewey. Elena Dockery. Ashley Eggman. Elizabeth Enriquez. Caitlin Fecken. Lauren Foster. Filiberto Garcia. Madison Gaunt. Lindsay Gee. Devana Glover. Devante Glover. Nicholas Grabinski. Emily Hartman. Paige Heaney. Arturo Herrera. Yeah. 
Xander Hess. Haley Haku. Matthew Hillard. Zachary Hodges. Cameron Hodgins. Hallie Holman. Damian Hunter. Griffin Irving. Amir Jackson. Jade Jacobson. Alizea Jerumbo. Ethan Jerumbo. Morgan Jenkins. Lily Johnson. Tristan Johnson. Hayden Jolman. Jocelyn Juarez. Karina Kiever. Chase Keller. Ashley King. Cassidy Colby. John Lagak. Jaden Lott. Talia Mahan. Hunter McFadden. Tara McGrath. Roger McKenzie. Jesse McMahon. Edmari Mitchell. Brendan Nelson. Sky Nelson. Emily Newman. Lillian Pastor. Ashley Pepler. Kiana Porsche.
Ethan Randall Tarpley. Kyle Reek. Dayton Rose. Xavier Ruiz. Jada Sane. Maria Scott Darwin Show Caleb Sibley Brianna Smith Aliyah Spicer. Hayden Stanfield. Allison Tenhove. Bryant Thomas. Morgan Timmerman. <laughs> Natalie Trout. Jordan Tuttle. Caitlin Alch. Caleb Van Dyke. Caleb is all, also receiving the diploma for Julie Graftema. Brandon Voss. Dylan Wobsis. Bailey Westcott. Cassidy White. Cole Wilson. Mark Wood. Daniel Woodring. Logan Woods. Save the best for last. Lauren Robleski. Seniors, would you please rise? Graduates, you may now move your tassels to the left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the ceremony. Thanks again for coming out.